what type of physical exercise should you be doing to improve the function of your brain? By the end of this video, we're going to go over two research studies that talks about the best exercises you can do to improve your memory and to reduce your chances of getting dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Kola and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 30 years. And if this is your first time here and you really want to improve with your fitness, health and nutrition along with me, hit that subscribe button along with the bell indicator so you never miss one of my videos. Now most people know that exercise is good for the body, good for the brain, but these two research studies want to look at exactly what type of exercise is best for the brain and for preventing, say, dementia or Alzheimer's disease. So the first study looked at over 30,000 individuals and they looked at more of their, their aerobic fitness, like their VO2 max. VO2 max means your maximal oxygen consumption. Like for example, when, when I was in exercise physiology class, we would test people's like VO2 max. So what you do, you put someone on a treadmill and you make them work as hard as they possibly can on the treadmill and the more oxygen they consume, it determines what their VO2 max is. So when you're in really good shape, you have a higher VO2 max. Okay, so the first study looked at people, middle aged people over a 10 year period. And they classified them whether they were in good shape, decent shape, or very good shape, good aerobic shape. Okay, and then they looked at these individuals 20 years later. They went to nursing homes, they looked at records on nursing homes, and they determined that the people who were the fittest, like 20 years ago within that 10 year period, had a 50% reduction, like a 50% less chance of getting dementia, which is really incredible. So this first study talked about how people who aerobically fit had a much less chance of getting dementia. But unfortunately, it didn't look at like the intensity of the exercise they were doing, but that's what the second study did. Now the second study took 64 men and women over the age of 60 and they split them up into two groups. Group one did more of an easy steady state type aerobic type training. For example, they walked for 50 minutes three days per week at a comfortable level. Now group two did much more intense type aerobic conditioning. They did more of that high intensity type training, that hip, tra that hit training. What they did is that they put them on like say a treadmill, then they would have them, first they'd have them warm up, then they had them do like four minutes of high intensity type training where they were 90% of their maximal heart rate. And they kept them there for four minutes, then they had them go easy for th three minutes. And they did this a number of times within that 15 minute time period. And what they conclude is that the participants who did more of that high intensity exercise had a much less chance of developing dementia and cognitive type issues. So this particular study showed that you have to do more of that high intensity exercise, that hip type training, to really prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. Now another big takeaway from this study is it's never too late, you're never too old. Remember, the participants in this study were over the age of 60 and this was a 12 week long study. So if, you, if you're over 60, don't feel it's too late. You know, I'm 57 years old, I'm in amazing shape, but I, ha I have been working out for most of my life, but I have clients like personal training come, come to me in their 70s and we make dramatic improvements in their strength, in their mobility, and actually in their cardiovascular fitness. So don't think it's too late or you're too old to get started. Actually, I'm gonna link up a whole bunch of videos I did on how to improve your aerobic ability, how to put muscle on your body, how to increase your mobility. Check the videos out. I think they're really gonna help you out. 